Hey, and welcome back to another episode of All American Cooking. I am Michael Allen. We're going to do something a little different today. This will be part of our new cocktail edition. And uh, this was inspired by a couple of things, the kitty cocktail that I grew up on. And uh, I've seen some people freeze some grapes to put in their wine because uh, ice cubes, they just dilute things. They water things down as they melt. So we don't want that to happen. As they melt, they'll add more flavor. So into this ice cube tray they go, into the freezer they go, and we're going to make some great cocktails out of them. So after a night in the freezer, our little cherry, maraschino cherry ice cubes look absolutely fantastic. I did these in a silicone ice cube tray. They're much easier to get out that way. Uh, you just kind of push up on the bottom and out they come. Loosens them up and out they come. I'll leave a link in the description below if you don't have one of those and you'd like one. So I'm going to fill two glasses with uh, four of these maraschino cherry ice cubes. We're going to do two different kinds of cocktails here uh, based on a cocktail I grew up with called the Kitty Cocktail. I don't know if that's still a thing, but uh, we're going to do a kid's version and an adult version. Uh, the Kitty Cocktail was just 7-Up and Grenadine and some maraschino cherries. That was it. So this is just a little improvement on this. So this will be the kids. This will be the adults. Uh, for the adults, we're going to do pretty much the same thing, but we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of vodka to that because I think vodka and uh, lemon-lime soda with some maraschino cherries is just a perfect adult version of the Kitty Cocktail. So a little, about a shot of vodka in there. That looks pretty good. And then our classic lemon-lime soda. Uh, growing up, we always did this with 7-Up. I prefer Sprite, not pimping either brand. Uh, generic lemon-lime soda works just fine, too. Uh, just make sure it's nice and cold. The uh, frozen maraschino cherry is just going to add a little bit to it, and without ice, it won't water it down that much. It'll keep more flavor in the cocktail. That's really the whole purpose to this. I've seen people do this with frozen grapes in their wine. Uh, I'm going to do this with uh, cherries in my cocktail here. So I've got a little bit of grenadine here. We're just going to add that splash of grenadine just to give it a little bit more robust cherry flavor, a little sweetness. And uh, that's pretty much it. We've got our kitty cocktail and our adult version of the kitty cocktail. Now for added flavor and so that we know which drink is which, uh, I like lime with my cherries. So I've used a vegetable peeler to put a little bit of lime zest on the rim of the glass. And we're gonna cut a little piece of lime and we're just gonna squeeze some fresh lime juice. Move that straw out of the way, there we go. Squeeze some fresh lime juice into it. Lime and cherry are a magical combination of flavors. So that will help uh, not only flavor up, but so that you know which cocktail is which. So once we got the lime squeezed in there, we'll give it a little stir and we're good to go. And then OCD as I am, I realized that that little piece of lime zest was too big. So we're gonna cut it a little thinner and then we're gonna twist and twist right over the glass because as you twist, some of those oils from the lime zest will get into your glass, give some more lime flavor. And now it looks pretty. So there you go. So you know I have to try these. I mean, I made them, right? So let's start with the kitty cocktail, the uh, virgin version, if you will. A little sip here. And it is, it's just, it brings back so many memories of my youth growing up, going to the bowling alley, having these constantly, but better without ice to water it down. But this is the one I really want to try because I tell you, lime and cherry just make such a great combination, especially in a cocktail. So here we go. And it is just fantastic. You really have to try lime and cherry if it's not something you're used to, but uh, it's, it's just so good. So try this at home. Cheers. Thanks for watching.